This presentation is about the famous American poet Allen Ginsberg, who lived from 1926 to 1997. Allen Ginsberg was born in Newark, New Jersey in 1926 and was raised and attended public schools in nearby Patterson, New Jersey. His father was an English teacher and a lyric poet, and his mother was schizophrenic and suffered from numerous nervous breakdowns throughout his childhood. He went to Columbia University where he made friends with William Burroughs and Jack Kerouac, two fellow leaders of the beat movement, with whom he experimented with drugs. He was temporarily expelled from Columbia for writing anti-Semitic obscenities on a classroom window, although he himself was Jewish, and for insulting the university president. On another occasion, he used his dorm to store goods an acquaintance had stolen, and he pleaded insanity to avoid press prosecution and ended up spending several months in a mental institution. Eventually, he graduated from Columbia with not only an undergraduate but also a graduate degree and then worked several odd jobs in New York City upon graduation. In 1954, Ginsburg moved to San Francisco and two years later he gained tremendous public attention when he published his book, Howl and Other Poems. Ginsburg's poetry received national notoriety with a mix of hostile and positive reviews, ranging from critics calling it an angry sexually explicit poem to one of the milestones of a generation. One critic said the poem, poem almost single-handedly dislocated the traditionalist poetry of the 1950s, and another that Ginsburg's 1954 reading of Howell is considered by many to be a revolutionary event in American poetry. In addition to receiving critical attention, Ginsburg's publisher, Lawrence Ferlinghetti was actually arrested by the San Francisco Police Department who declared the book of poetry obscene due to its graphic sexual language. The trial attracted national attention and many famous poets came to the poem's defense. The obscenity charges were dropped, but not before Howell became the manifesto of the beat literary movement, which used the language of the streets and previously forbidden literary topics. The beat movement was championed by those who supported the 1960s counterculture, which was anti-war, anti-establishment, anti-capitalism, anti-materialism, and pro-free love. Ginsburg became the leader of the beat movement and was given credit for coining the hippie term flower power. Ginsburg published about 50 poems and numerous books of poetry and won many awards for his poetry, including being a Pulitzer Prize finalist in 1995. Ginsburg's writing was heavily influenced by William Carlos Williams, Jack Kerouac, Walt Whitman, Henry David Thoreau, Ralph Waldo Emerson, and Herman Melville. Ginsburg's writing can be characterized as postmodern and uses stream of consciousness and is emotional and spiritual. He often reads it quickly or chants it. A major theme of his writing is politics, and it is typically it typically reflects his libertarian and leftist ideology. He uses his poetry to criticize McCarthyism, the Vietnam War and other wars, nuclear, ar nuclear arms, capitalism, and materialism. He was openly homosexual in a time when it was not socially acceptable at all, and much of his writing has strong homosexual overtones. He supported free love and illegal drug use and other topics popular with the countercultural movement. Ginsburg wrote many of his best poems under the influence of illegal drugs, such as peyote for Howell, amphetamines for Kaddish, and LSD for Whales of Visitation. However, later in life he converted to Buddhism and became convinced that meditation and yoga were far superior to drugs in raising one's consciousness. Ginsburg suffered from diabetes and chronic hepatitis, and in 1997, the day he was diagnosed with lung cancer, he wrote 12 short poems and the next day he suffered a stroke and went into a coma, dying two days later. The information for this presentation comes from the Anthology of American Literature and the Poetry Foundation website. All images come from Google Images.